See, the, the Word of God never expires. What does that mean? That means God told him the first time to go and do this thing, right? God told the lady just before to pour oil out into different jars. How many of you know that you can go out, borrow jars from your neighbors and pour oil into them and it will happen? Because the word has already been given. You can do it today. You can do it this afternoon after church. I'm very serious. That's how the words of Jesus work. Everything Jesus spoke 2,000 years ago still apply today. Everything God spoke 6,000 years ago applies today. The seed is still bearing a harvest. The, the, the rains are still happening from the days of Noah. Once it's been said once, it will happen again. There is nothing new under the sun. So once it's happened once, if you can go out and you can do that, or you can go out and cast your nets on the other side of the boat and say, I'm claiming the word from God that says, I'm gonna cast my nets on this side, and you can go do it and you will get the same amount of fish that they had. Go and do it. Jesus said, go therefore, and guess what? Greater things than me you're gonna do. So all this stuff is nothing. Everything in the Bible, when I say it's nothing, I mean it's, it's done before, it's not that amazing anymore because God said, behold, I'm doing a new thing. So Jesus says, you're going to do greater things than what I've done. Everything Jesus did was a basic level of elementary knowledge. It was elementary miracles. Walking on the water was basic. You were supposed to do greater things than that. Calming the ocean was a basic thing. You're supposed to do greater things than that. Raising the dead is a basic thing. And every Christian is supposed to do it. So now, God, Elisha gets the word the first time. And he says, you're going to go forth. And, and you, this is, you're going to lay on the child. He tried it the first time and it didn't work. But then he walks back and forth and says, the word of God, probably saying in his own mind, right? I'm guessing. He probably says, the word of God is infallible. If he said it, it must happen because he prayed. So he goes back and does exactly the same thing a second time. And this time, this time the child sneezed seven times. The child was dead.